Hello everyone, and welcome to Just for Tips, my guide series for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Today, I'm going to be talking about Topaz Solution. Uh, it's pretty straightforward here, just really two things that you need to be aware of. One of them, head to this room on the right here and clear out these two mimics first. Don't worry about the main room, don't worry about the main guy. While you are clearing out this room, be aware that there is a hole in the wall, um, which you're going to be using uh, a little later on. But be aware that that's there because you can aggro the alchemist through that hole. Um, and your party, w even if the alchemist doesn't aggro you, when you kill the two mimics, your party will shoot the alchemist through the hole. So just make sure you're aware of that and ready, be ready to move them. Uh, once you've done the two mimics in there, you know, you can use grease, you can use a web, things like that to hold them in place if you don't want to tank. Or you can tank them with displacement or... Um, uh, something like that. Uh, once those two are down, the next order of business is the setup. So here, the easiest way to do this is with Ember casting Slumber through that hole in the wall. Right, The alchemist is conveniently standing right across. I'm sure this is an intentional design decision by, by them. Otherwise, this would be a ridiculously hard fight. Um, so cast Slumber on him, and then just coup de grace him, right? So what I've done here is I have Wolgif in the room already, uh, ready to coup de grace. These guys have extremely high perception, so be aware of that. Uh, what I've done is I have Wolgif with uh, the, a trinket that gives him plus 5 stealth, he's at 20 stealth, and uh, I've cast Invisibility on him as, as well. So his stealth is like 45-ish. Uh, and so he's able to pass the, the stealth check and he doesn't get seen. So you can see there he just executed the guy. Um, one thing to be aware of there is you want the DC. So the guy has a DC of 13. Um, and so you want at least a 50% chance to down him. So that would mean you would need a DC of 24 or rather 23. Um, to have a 50% chance, right? So if he rolls a 10 out of 20, then his, his DC goes up to 23. Uh, well, you need a DC of 24 to beat the 23. So yeah, you would need a DC of 24 uh, for a 50% chance. If you don't get that, uh, if, you, if you're if you not up to 24 around there, it's going to be a little more of a frustrating experience unless you get lucky because a lot of things have to fall into place, right? The slumber has to go off then you have to be able to handle these two mimics here. And if you're tanking and spanking them, even with displacement at a 50% miss rate, uh, unless you get lucky and they fall over in Greece or you web them and shoot them without tanking them, um, they're, they're really tough. Uh, and then after those go right, then you have to actually pass, pass the um, coup de gras check. If you don't coup de gras him, just reload because even if you crit him for like 90% of his health, he'll still kill your entire party, most likely, on unfair. Um, and so here you can see the rewards. Uh, it's pretty nice, pretty nice small crossbow um, enhancement level two with uh, a DC 20 debuff, which is, it's actually really nice. You can see, right? DC 22, a target must pass a will saving throw um, every time you pass a, a, every time you land a crit hit. So yeah. Uh, regarding the slumber, I would recommend you equip Ember with the uh, headband of Alluring Charisma, or you buff her with either a scroll or a um, potion of Eagle Splendor to get the DC up from the base of 16. I, I know with the headband you can get up to 17, so. Uh, but that's about it. Thanks for joining me. That's going to be it for me, boys and girls. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. And don't forget to hit that bell notification on your way out. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Razor Fiend, signing out. Hey, no, you